started recording let's start where we stopped yesterday yesterday we have seen how to configure this iSCSI storage and how you can create the data stores on VMware side those things we covered off so today we will do a couple of more exercises on the storage part only using the iSCSI what all the things that we can do I'll show you so for that let me delete this data stores there are these are empty data stores right so once I'm deleting the data stores means you are losing your production data inside these data stores so my question is can I combine all these three learns and create one single data store is it possible or not yes it is possible I have three data store oh, sorry three LUNs 10 20 30 so I created three data stores on the front now I don't want to create three data stores I want to create only one single data store is it possible or not yes it is possible let's see okay so let's do that host storage new data store vmfs and data store select next vmfs 6 right 15 gb will be formatted okay now I want to increase the capacity right we can select the one which is available which is available and select next so it will automatically format the same raw hard disk once again and the, the LUN 20 will be formatted and will be added to the same data store capacity will be doubled now become 30 round extend data store <coughs> done and you can create one more okay but at any point of time remember at any point of time you can combine multiple raw devices and create a single data store but once the data store is created you cannot shrink the size I cannot I cannot decrease there is no option to decrease the data store capacity remember that in short okay only you can increase the data store size you can never decrease it and if you want to remove one of the disk or one of the uh, learn from the data store you will lose the data be careful Understood? okay and see <clears throat> the scenario is something like this so let's take an example you have one data store right one data store and being used in what is this this one see this data store is being used Production so eighty percent storage is full. I have one data store. So how we will manage the storage capacity? How you will manage the storage? Understood? Anyway, the business is not going to be on one single data store. You'll have multiple data stores. Just now, I've shown you how you can create single data store out of all the drives. Okay, so that is different story. You 
let's consider the yesterday's example. We have three data stores and that's a 90% full. So what you will do in that situation? Or the scenario is you got a requirement or you got a ticket to create new virtual machine and you don't have a space on any data store in that situation what you will do come on huh? nice you can create uh, another data store. you can create another data store for that you need to request for storage right obviously yes. so, this one. okay so the only option is you need to you need to increase the storage capacity okay let me recreate the example what we are working Ten, right? Quickly. So next. Twenty. Right, so you have three data stores, and the capacity is almost like full on the all the data stores. So you need to increase the capacity. So what you will do? You'll place a request on the storage team side. Uh, so what they will do? They will they will increase the existing LAN, or they will create a new LAN and allocate it to you. In which situation they will increase the existing data store or existing LAN and in which situation they will allocate the new storage it's purely on storage management side in the sense in the sense these LANs remember on the back end they will allocate from pool they will have pools the pool technically call it as aggregates aggregates in that specific aggregate where let's say for example learn 10 is 90 percent full okay where this learn 10 is sitting on the pool in that pool if there is any additional space if there is any free space then they will try to increase this learn 10 from 4 tb to 2.2 tb understood now in my in my scenario it's a 20 gb imagine in your real time it's 2 tb learn and you requested for 10 to 10 percent of increase in the data store so they have to increase the data store size or learn size by 200 gig for that they must have the space in the back end if they don't have a space okay what they will do they will also do the capacity management in the back end yeah, just like you're doing the capacity management at vmware level at storage level they have to perform the storage uh, capacity management right so what they will do they will keep on watching the storage capacity if their storage capacity overall storage capacity which they have allocated to around 2000 servers or 2500 servers that storage capacity is reached to some certain threshold and they don't have anything in reserve in that situation what they will do they will put a purchase request for buying new storage disk or storage array or all together the brand new storage whatever the based on the requirement in that case in that case the existing learn 
increasing or increasing the existing LAN is not possible. Right? Because you will get a new aggregate and the new aggregate they will create a new LAN and allocate it to you. In that situation, the example which I have shown you in the earlier, delete all the data stores and create one com combined data stores means you have an existing data store, whatever the new drive which got created, you can add it to here so that the capacity will be increased. That is what we tested in the earlier. Understood? If the existing data store or existing LUN capacity is can be increased, then there is no point of adding multiple LUNs into one single data store. Okay, the existing LUN cannot be increased. In that case, you can go with the new LUN creation and attach to the same data store. It means, in short, the data store will run with two LUNs. The two LUNs in the back end will run with multiple hard drives under RAID. Right? When I, when I say LUN 10, it is not a single drive. It is a combination of multiple drives. Everything is con combined as a logical drive, which, which you call it as RAID, right? So using RAID, you combine the physical hard drives and created the logical LUN, then formatted and used as a data store. Similarly, here also. So two data stores means on the backend, two different RAIDs. Understood? Are any confusion on this? Yes. Clear? Yes. So, one thing, if there is any space available, we can increase the data store, right? That is what I'm saying, how to increase. Let's see quickly. Go to server manager. This is your storage server, right? Yes. Go to ASCSI. LAN 20. Customer has requested to increase LAN 20. Okay. Properties. LAN 20, right? Extend. Extend. 20 GB new size. You see, new size is 20 GB. Go to vCenter and ESXi host. Configure ISCSI. Configure this. 20, still it is showing as 15 GB only. So you have to rescan the storage. It is rescanned, you must see the increased capacity. I don't know why it is not showing up. Let's refresh. Sometimes it's on. Works, man. It's okay. Let's. It is still showing. Refresh. 20. Select. Refresh. Scan VMFS. Yeah, 20. It is reflected now. So sometime, sometimes it is really slow. Okay, so now it is increased. So what you can do later on, go to data store, select the data store which you want to increase. Okay, you can increase this one. Okay, if you want to increase this one, let's see. You will not see, right? Any other. So select the respect 30, increase the capacity. No, you cannot. But go to 20 and increase the capacity. You will see. For 20, it is visible because half of the half of the LUN is already formatted and used by a uh, data store name called LUN20 and the rest of the 5GB you cannot assign it to any other data store or any other 
data stored within the system within the cluster that we need to understand so that that is the reason it is not visible across other LUNs 10 and 20 if the if the whole LUN itself is empty if the whole LUN itself is blank or a raw device you never formatted it then it can be added to any device any device you want to see create a new G drive right using the G drive next I'll say learn 40 extra learn I'll say only 5 GB to the same lab that's it oh, 40 right properties you say 40 let me go back and go to host and clusters it is not visible as of now just rescan it and refresh see additional learn is populated do the same on other host refresh showing up so rescan if you rescan it it will go and talk to the storage provider it is ref reflecting now so it is not showing up here just do the rescan it is populated now go back to data stores select the 10 and increase the capacity you will see learn 45 GB because this is empty but if I go to 20 if I say increase, I'll see two, the existing 20 as well as the 40. Okay, so in the, in our lab, it might be it might be silly how we manage all these things, but in real time, you have a n number of storage learns allocated to the system, and you got the requirement or you requested for learn assignment or a lot, increase the capacity of existing learn. If they are done with the allocation and you have been asked to do the storage expansion then it will be a tough task to identify which one it is if you are not using the right naming conventions in in my picture I have maintained the right, proper naming convention on the back end it's London on the properties it's London on the front end the data store name it it's London but if I give ABC is the front end name and the back end it is a not a LUN 10 it is LUN ABC underscore 2 and the LUN ID is 200 so random naming random naming conventions then in that case it's really hard to identify which one you should increase okay once you increase it and you cannot decrease it right so by mistakely you have added the storage to another data store the raw device and it is being formatted you cannot even remove it be very careful when you are doing the such things on the storage side Understood? So select, select 20. Next. So it, it got increased from 15 GB to 20 GB. Okay. And LUN 10, I have a special requirement. I want to increase this with the LUN 40. So, how to do that? Increase the capacity. I have LUN 40 of 5 GB. This will also be increased, but with the new LUN. So now LUN 20 is single disk. LUN 20 is single single disk, which is 20 GB. And LUN 10 is combination of two disks on the back end, two LUNs. Okay. Uh, one is 15 GB, another one is 5 GB. You see. This is also showing 19.5, and this is also showing 19.75. You, you have formatted two raw devices, and there's point. Uh, 25 is overhead taken by another disk how to check how to check configure configure device backing you will see two devices on the back end but for this you will see only one device in the back end okay understood yes 
thirty as usual. And connectivity and multipathing. It is connected to all the three hosts. If you have if you have sixty four hosts, this LAN will be mounted in all the sixty four hosts within your production system. And, and you'll see the mount point. With the same name it will be added in all the devices okay hardware acceleration not supported capacity sets let's see there's no capacity sets any other general task and the t file system format is vmfs6 maximum run size is 64 pb can create one single disk of 64 TB and block size is 1 MB right so 15 GB usable is 13 point yeah. thin provisioning supported so what is this thin provisioning and thick provisioning okay there are three terms there are three terms here what are those three terms? You observed three terms thin, thick, thick, lazy. Agreed? Yes. I want to do it oh, now. Okay. What is main host, right? Just a second. I gave the wrong password again. So whenever we are deploying or we are creating a machine, it is being asked, right? To or else select any machine, edit settings, edit settings, add a hard disk, new, this one, right? By default, it is showing. You see three options. Thin provisioned, thick provisioned, lazily zeroed, thick provisioned, eagerly zeroed. That is what I have mentioned here. Right? So Google it on these three aspects. We, I'll explain this tomorrow. Understood? Any questions on iSCSI storage up to this, what we discussed? So far, so far, what we did on the storage side is on 1 GB network. Is on 1 GB network. The only difference is between 1 GB. Note it down these three, right? I'll, I'll discuss about these tomorrow, okay? So, so far what we discussed on the iSCSI, just recap it once. iSCSI, so you'll have a system, ESXA server, and on the ESXA server, you must have IQN, that is your iSCSI adapter. If you purchase iSCSI adapter, it will defaultly allocate it with IQN number. In our lab, we simulated that. Okay, and you need to connect two different cables to two different switches two different cables to two different switches and on the back end you will have your controller 1 and controller 2 for storage allocation controller 2 and all both the controllers has connected or has a connectivity on the back end with disk shelves Shelves. 
this shelf one two three four and so on n number of these shelves based on the capacity okay so what happens from here like this you have a two connections from here like this you have a two connections okay on the on the left hand side you have one host this is how it is connected if you have a second host same way one is here another here we have a th third host same right Understood? this is switch one and this is switch two okay so in that case how many hosts that cluster can support 64 so you need 64 such hosts are connected to the same switch okay and all the 64 iqn numbers will be discovered on the system you will create one logical boundary called production cluster and assign the LUNs from anywhere. You really don't control it, right? You can only control it if there is any, remember, if there is any low end storage. Low end storage means some disk shelf with SATA drives is there, the red color one, all SATA. So that you can restrict. Rest all SAS and SSDs combination these can be provisioned this is also can be provisioned but you will not get the speed speed will be calculated in terms of input output operations per second iops okay so the required iops for your applications will be calculated and they, they will be designed based on the based on the capacity of these two that's too much high level nothing to do with the vmware administration part that's more of designing part okay so in this scenario if you are using normal cables normal cables all these normal cables then you will get 1 gb speed across all the systems if you are using 10 gb switches i have explained you 10 gbps copper cables and 10 gbps switches so from here to here you will get a 10 gb speed clear any confusion on this on the on the front end administration no change on the back end storage provisioning no change only the change is 1 gb versus 10 gb is the speed between the devices and the cabling and the physical architecture or a physical connectivity i can say will be Change rest all will remain same. Agree or disagree? Whether you get the whether you get the storage from 1 GB cable or a 10 GB cable, system will accept and you can create a data store. The same data store will be shown here. Same data store will be shown here. But only thing is the fastness, the data travel, and the fastness will be increased when you are using 1 GB and 10 GB on the back end. Yes. Okay. That is only the difference in physical aspect. So so far with this, I'll I'll stop the iSCSI part. Okay. We still have two more things to discuss. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Four more things to discuss. Okay. Let me note it down. That those things will do it tomorrow. One is thin. Is one thing right? yes yeah. second one is this is more of overview if i say overview we cannot do the lab okay We can do a couple of more things as well. Okay. It will keep on, it will keep on increase the number of topics. Understood? We can still need to discuss these many things in the storage. 
permits i will try to cover all these things okay out of which two are more of theory and rest all we can do the labs fair enough any questions any questions up to this i'll stop the ice crazy i'll not go in detail again because uh, i've shown you what all the things that you can do on a day to day and what all the things that comes into picture when you are doing the capacity management and stuff as well what the things i covered okay so no more questions vivek no okay so let me stop here.